Okay, so we're still dealing with the 101 of these spheres. Okay, so what I did, I preferences, initialize, ZBrush, and hit yes. Okay, now we have to get, um, well, not only the moving, but the deleting and, you know, uh, manipulation of the Z-sphere a little bit more before we go on. Let's go and make a Z-sphere, click and drag it out, and hit edit. Okay. This time we're going to add a little bit more to our workflow, activate symmetry, and then click and drag out, and move. All right, so now what happens is I make this, just like before. Now let's kind of look at what these structures do. Now let's take the draw and hold alt over the end caps. What that does is now delete any z-sphere making the original appear, or the root with no children. Okay, let's hit control Z. This time, let's hold Alt over the tube. What this does, if you hit A, it makes, oh, look at that, a squircle. Hmm. So hit A again, take these Z-spheres, and you can see that these are kind of like magnetic Z-spheres. The more you go like this and hit A, the weirder or more oblong it's going to appear because it's pulling away from the original root, which is where it started. So if I was to go and put these in here like this, you would get this, okay, kind of like the squircle. And if you move it out, you can keep adjusting this, and you can see I can make it bigger or smaller. So know that. Know that there is a structure at the end caps that can be deleted or there's a tube that also can be deleted. So you can get all kinds of craziness um, with your poly structures. So I'll take this for example. I deleted all of them. If I hit draw and click and drag out, move these up, and you can see that this, did you see that? It was starting to pull away from the original Z-sphere. It's because if you hold the bracket keys underneath the plus and minus, you can make the draw size smaller. Therefore, when you go to move it, it moves just this one and not this one at all. So let's kind of play around. You're not going to hurt this at all. Let's draw another z-sphere here. Hit A and you're going to see this. See what as I said? What happens? If I get something reversed where the tube gets too close to each other, I must take and separate the tube a little bit and hit A and you can see this appears. All right, so let's kind of play around with the whole invisibility magnetic feature. If I hit a draw, scale it out, move it off, A, I get this. But if I take the draw and hold Alt over this tube, I get this. So you can see, I can kind of tweak out my geometry using these magnetic Z-spheres. If I want to get some kind of, you know, different base mesh, remember, you want to keep your base meshes simple. You don't want complex base meshes. You don't want to go in here and say, well, I'm going to make so many things off of this one, and I'm going to make another one down here, and another one down here, and then one up here, and then I'm going to move them all off. Okay. Um, what's going to happen is it's going to, when you hit A, you're going to get all these twists and bends and sucking in areas, and it's not going to be very sculptable. It is much better to have something very simple. Let's just say, oops, draw, draw. Move, draw. It is much better to have something like this that has good structure and easy sculptability. So now that you know the difference between uh, the deleting of the actual base Z-sphere and its tube, let's go on and show you the structure of the Z-sphere based on its resolution.